remembering and both are as human as we are. Thank you sir. Indeed sir, we will work hard and hard to achieve our set goals. Now, I would like to request our principal Dr. H. Kulkani sir to address a presidential speech. Please. My guru and former chairman of Bar Council of India and honorary lecturer for Ismail Sahib Mullah Law College for about three decades, the best teacher I have ever seen, coordinator of this seminar, Assistant Professor Nitin Mandare, Honorable S.P. Nikam, former district and session judge, who is the resource person for the next session, Madam Nikam, an university topper and advocate, Minal Bapat, staff and the students. When I was law student, I never missed his lectures. He was the most punctual man I have ever known from teaching fraternity. Whenever his lecture was scheduled on a particular day in the week, I remember five minutes before that, every time he was available in the staff room, five minutes before actual commencement of the lecture, I have learnt punctuality from him. When I was a student and when I was listening his lectures in the classes, as I told you that he is the best lecture which I have ever seen, there was a desire in my mind, if suppose in future I would be a teacher, I wish that I should be a teacher like this, this man. I was a student at that time. I do not know <coughs> whether I am a teacher of this time now, but that was my cherished desire when I was a student. I told you that he worked for about 30 years, maybe more or less, taught law to thousands of students who are now judges and advocates and police officers. He was the only person in Ismail Sahib Mullah Law College who had not taken a single rupee. Even conveyance allowance, he used his own car to come to the college from his home. Conveyance allowance was paid to honorary teachers. Honorarium was paid to honorary teachers. He did not receive anything. Thirty years teaching, best teacher. I ever remember him and I am proud that you also could listen to him. Just one anecdote and that will be my presidential speech. A small anecdote relating to a theme which he expressed in the beginning, benefit of doubt. The defense lawyer should be perfect <coughs> to create doubt in the mind of the judge, either by contradicting the witnesses or by any other circumstance, because the principle of criminal jurisprudence is, as he said, presumption of innocence, even if there is a proof, again the accused person, just is not supposed to convict, even if there is a proof. There should be a proof beyond reasonable doubt, then only accused can be convicted. Even a small doubt is there in the mind of the judge, it is binding on him to acquit the accused. Even if the judge is convinced that he is a criminal, if you read Marimad Committee report, this standard of proving criminal cases should be reduced and instead of beyond reasonable doubt, if judge is convinced that he is a criminal, on that ground he should be allowed to convict. But this Marimad Committee report, very best report is gathering dust as other best reports of Law Commission also are gathering dust with the government. Anecdote is like this. It was a jury trial and jury were sitting and it was almost the close of the evidence and argument of the defense lawyer. And the defense lawyer knew that he is going to lose this case. It was a case of murder. However, the cause 
were not recovered. Dead body was not recovered. But there was a lot of evidence that the person was killed, murdered, dead. Even there are rulings of Supreme Court High Court. Even if the dead body is not recovered, accused can be convicted of murder if there is a sufficient proof. In this case also, as I told you, no corpse, no dead body available. Case almost came to an end. Argument of the defense lawyer almost came to an end. And the last point which this defense lawyer made to the jury. Look, Mr. Jury, within one minute, the advocate said, defense lawyer said, from this door of the courtroom, the so-called deceased person will enter the court hall. Defense lawyer said to the jury, within one minute from this door, the so-called dead person, because there was no cause, so-called dead person will enter this courtroom. Everybody started looking at the door. Jury also started looking at the door. One minute only, advocate is saying this, within one minute, the deceased person, you call deceased person here murder, he will enter. Person deceased, you say, that person will enter. This is my last argument. Everybody was stunned, surprised. Everybody started looking at the door, just one minute, one minute passed. Nobody entered. Then, the advocate said to the jury, that all of you jury members were looking at the door with anticipation, with hope that the deceased person will enter. That means there is also doubt in your mind whether he is dead or not. This is sufficient to acquit my accused person. Story does not end here. Now what to do? Really? The jury is watching for just one minute. Advocate is saying this. But son will enter here. Judy said, okay, we will deliberate for a few minutes and come back to give our judgment, decision. Jury went in the antechamber. They discussed matters with themselves, came back in the court hall and gave a verdict of conviction to the accused. Advocate said, what is this? How could you convict when you had doubt in your mind? All of you watched at the door. You had doubt whether the person is dead or not. Jury said, yes, we agree. That all of us watched, stared at the door. But your client did not. Your client did not. Do you get the point? Thank you. Thank you so much.